the Halloween event is finally out, giving you the opportunity to earn a lot of cosmetic rewards for absolutely free. So let's take a look at everything this new event offers. Now before we begin this video, remember to claim your weekly gift in the store and also put this code in order to get two charms from the DBD Day event in case you didn't get them in the past. Just like the last event, in order to get all the rewards, you have to complete the event tome in order to get dark trinkets so you can spend them in the event store. Additionally, this year we also get some extra cosmetics as part of the DVD Day event, which can be found on the first page of the event tome. Just complete the challenges as usual with whatever side you want in order to get them. Later in the video, I will show all the rewards you can earn, so if you're only interested in that, skip to the timestamp to check them out. And just like last time, I recommend spending all your blood points on the characters you're planning to use, because you are going to need the Dowsing Grot offering in order to advance the event as quickly as possible and earn the rewards faster. The offering is only usable in the event game mode, so make sure to select it in order to progress through the event. Additionally, killers will also be able to earn the Blighted Serum add-on, which is an add-on that adds a dash power to your killer and is only usable during this event. And survivors will get special offerings as well as unique items like Halloween flashlights and medkits which are exclusive and won't appear again until the next Halloween. So let's explain how the Haunted by Daylight event works. Haunted by Daylight is all about void energy, which you can collect by various means. As a survivor, if you repair generators, you will be showered by a constant stream of void energy, so this is one of the most efficient ways to get it. As a killer, you can collect void energy by hooking survivors. You can also down a survivor or stun the killer in order to steal some of their void energy. Another way to collect void energy is to collect void orbs around the map, which will constantly be spawning at all times and all you have to do is come closer to them. And finally, the coolest way to get Void Energy is by smashing pumpkins, which you can find all over the map. Every time you break them, they will give you a speed boost, a slowdown, or nothing at all. So what do you do with this Void Energy? The answer is found inside the Void Realm. In order to access it, there are two ways. The first way is the easiest, and that's the portal that is open at all times. The second way is to open portals throughout the match. By spending your void energy on these portal rifts, you are able to permanently open them for the rest of the trial, and this can be very useful as a means to travel quickly throughout the map if needed. As a killer, you will also know at all times when a survivor is inside the void, both by a sound effect that will play anytime they enter, as well as a visual icon next to their HUD. Inside this void, you will find that things look different compared to the last event. This entire map has changed and now features a different, more vertical layout, as well as the introduction of lockers, pallets and chests, which work just like always. For killers, you are also able to use your power inside the void on top of being undetectable, which is a massive plus for slow characters like the Huntress. However, as a survivor, remember that you cannot heal inside as you will be inflicted with the broken status effect, and also you will get the exhausted status effect, which is a smart choice by the devs because balance landing would be a nightmare on this layout. And the reason to come here is found in the center of the map. This is where the Void Well is located, a place where you can trade some of your energy for benefits depending on the side you play. So let's talk about the survivor side first. By trading enough energy as a survivor, you get access to a brand new item called the Void Crystal. These items work similar to a flashbang, in that you can pick them up even if you have another item with yourself. You can also drop the Void Crystals around, so if you have an excess of Void Energy, make sure to spend it all here and drop them so your teammates can pick them up. Void crystals work just like smoke bombs would work in any other video game. By consuming the crystal, the survivor will drop them to the ground, creating a decently sized cloud of fog for 10 seconds which completely blocks the vision of anyone around it, and also completely blocks the vision of anyone that enters it. 
and make sound be harder to track. Survivors also don't produce any scratch marks after throwing it. You can use these crystals with unpredictable movement after getting a hit to basically guarantee an escape or also use it in order to bamboozle the killers by fake entering the void. This new item brings a lot of cool interactions to the game and I hope that in the future we actually get an item like this for the base game. Now for the killer side, you can get access to a completely new and honestly overpowered attack called the Hounds. In total, you can have up to two Hounds on reserve and anytime you use them, you have to go back to the Void Well in order to reload. The Hounds work very similar to an artist attack. By pressing the special power button, you're able to send a Hound forward that will injure survivors by one health state. If you miss, or if the Hound collides with an obstacle, instead the survivors will scream, revealing their location and interrupting whatever action they were doing. The Hounds do not give any warning to the survivors that they are sent, and they are also very fast and have a surprisingly long range. The horns will bypass any holes on the ground and they will go straight, basically the same way the artist attack works like. You can use these horns in corridors in order to guarantee hits, or in specific loops that are straight in order to get a hit so fast that the survivors simply do not expect this. And on top of all of that, Survivors will have to pay attention and dodge the hounds during a chase as they will be able to see how many of them you got by the circles floating around you, so it can also be used as a zoning tool. In my matches testing this mechanic, I found the hounds to be very overpowered. If you thought the Xenomorph's tail was strong, this is that but on steroids with the condition that you have to have a line of sight with the survivor. It's really hard to dodge, gives no warning, and is super strong on corridors. By completing the challenges from this tome, you will be able to purchase various cosmetics in the Halloween store. These include the ribcage shirts for Meg, Ace, Jonah, Talita, Renato, and Gabriel, as well as candy weapons for Spirit, Blight, Artist, which is really cool in my opinion, The Knight, and Singularity. By completing the extra challenges in the first page, you will get the colors from the DVD Day special event, which include shirts for all the original survivors, as well as recolors for Japanese characters like Spirit, Oni, and Yui. I wish Adam would have gotten something as well. In order to get the Trickster and Yunjin outfits, you will have to complete every page of the challenges in order to get a piece for their cosmetics. And finally, by purchasing the rewards with dark trinkets, you will be able to earn extra milestone prizes like this cat charm, as well as a banner and emblem featuring the void. As of the paid content from this event, every single cosmetic that is part of the void collection will be time limited and unavailable to purchase after the event ends, as well as two new outfits for Sable and Michaela, which are part of the Tricks and Treats collection. In the cosmetic store, you can also find a bundle featuring the free rewards of the past Halloween event, which basically confirms that if you miss out on the prizes now, you can always buy them in the next year during this period of time. And that's all regarding the Halloween event. Please let me know in the comments if this video was useful, thank you for watching and happy Halloween!